in this video i am talking i will be talking about uh, the trade cycle uh, that is related to the uh, economic activities and uh, it results in various stage uh, uh, in trade cycle so specifically uh, let's discuss the uh, uh, activity among trade cycle in terms of the stage as well as the features as well as the causes and then the policy response that is the economic policies in terms of each situation of trade cycle so let's discuss first of all that uh, what is a recession this is one of the stage of the trade cycle so what are the features that reflect the recessionary situation so in recession number one indicator or the number one feature is that the output will be falling and the income level will be falling so when output falls and you can say that the economy is going into recession or the economy has in recession similarly one of the indicator is that the unemployment level will be high and it will be continuously rising and this might be due to some factors which will be, which will which we will discuss uh, along with this and the third element is that in recessionary phase there will be reduced inflationary pressure and it is as a result of the falling demand and falling output and similarly there will be an improvement in the trade balance because the trade balance is the difference between exports and imports so obviously in case of falling output falling demand falling income levels there will be a reduction in import as well so there will be more exports less imports and the balance will turn into a positive one now what causes these features or the reasons of economy being in recession number 1 it might be due to falling domestic aggregate demand and why domestic aggregate demand falls it's due to either falling consumer spending now it is a very important feature of recession that consumer spending falls similarly it might be due to falling government expenditure because uh, it might be the case that uh, the government has a burden on their uh, income level falling taxation and burden on uh, their expenditure uh, in terms of uh, subsid in terms of uh, unemployment benefits and so and so on so the government tries to cut down their expenditure and it might be due to world recession so it is a phenomena that when uh, all the countries goes into recession it might be a global or world recession that happens in many uh, times in this world and now if recession uh, is uh, inherent in the economy or is in part of economy then what would be the uh, government policy response or the macroeconomic policy in case of recession so one of the economic policy is to raise aggregate demand through taxation so what what is basically taxation is a fiscal policy measure that government what can government do in case of uh, uh, increasing demand or uh, the government if the government want to increase demand what government can do they can try to reduce tax what would be the consequence as a result of uh, 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 but uh, in order to uh, raise aggregate demand by reducing taxation it will result in the more demand due to high income level because after tax income might be high and that push the individual to consume more as a result aggregate demand increases or the government might do something which is more uh, relevant as compared to the reduced taxation is to increase the government expenditure by starting some public expenditure programs like bridges dam other activities so that it will convert unemployment into employment and reduce the unemployment level increase the income level and that will automatically increase the output level and the economy will 
will will be out from the recessionary phase and another monetary policy measure is to lower interest rate so what would be the consequences if you reduce the interest rate the, the public will get loan from the bank and as a result their spending power will increase and as a result aggregate demand will increase as well another type of stage of uh, the trade cycle that is one of the special type of recession is called stagflation in stagflation one of the important feature is that the falling output as in recession and falling income level but this falling output comes with rising inflationary pressures so this is a unique situation where output falls and instead of reducing inflationary pressure which is a normal thing the inflation also increases it means the combined effect that is rising inflation with rising unemployment and this is a disaster and why what are the causes of this type of uh, special recession it is because of the supply side shocks that is for example uh, the oil price shocks and as a result the supply reduces and it results it creates a situation where your supply is less and your demand is high but if the falling output and income level is also there so aggregate demand is also low so both aggregate demand and aggregate supply is low as a result the econ economy is in is in a type of recessionary situation and it is due to the low aggregate demand combined with cost push inflation and cost push inflation is that where the supply side shocks uh, uh, is there there might be a cost push inflation for example in terms of high oil prices and oil prices will will turn your cost push inflation high now what is the policy response for that what the government has to do the government has to increase the supply the government has to try to increase the supply and that is called the supply side policy and how this is possible by increasing the aggregate supply in the economy now the third type of uh, stage is called the recovery stage for example if economy in recessionary phase or in stagflation now it comes then there will be a recovery phase so the indicator of recovery is that the output and income levels begin to rise and unemployment begins to fall because when output increases the economic activity started and as a result more people are employed and unemployment rate falls and there might be a moderate price hike and that is moderate moderate inflationary pressure and it results in improving public finance because now less amount is to be spent by the government as unemployment benefits and as income rises the taxation also increases the causes of this situation is due to the returning confidence in the business and consumer sector because if income increases the people starts buying things if people buying start buying thing the investor tries to produce more and similarly it might be due to the effect of government un expansionary policy undertaken in recession when government tries to cut taxation increase government expenditure it results in the economy will will exit from the recessionary phase the policy responses that is taken place in this situation is reduction in expansionary policy to prevent too strong a boom because it sometime it happens that if uh, the policy will will continues then it might results in high inflationary situation now after that the situation arises which is called boom which seems to be a very good position in for the economy but it 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 uh, comes with some sort of negativity as well the features are that the output will be high and unemployment and employment and rise uh, output and is high and employment is high too there might be rising inflationary pressure due to high aggregate demand 
because if aggregate demand outweight aggregate supply and the full employment level it, it crosses the full employment level then it results in the price hike and similarly it results in the negative trade balance as import increases due to high demand the people if, if the people have income level then the demand high uh, imported goods and it results in an imbalance between import and exports and import increases and exports as compared to exports and this is a situation of a deficit in balance of trade but this comes with a uh, important feature that is the repayment of debt due to higher net income because it results in budget surplus for the government now the government is earning more income as compared to their expenditure so they might try to repay their debt or if already they have surplus they can uh, use that surplus to give loan to other nations the reason or the causes for this is high and rising ad that is aggregate demand from higher level of uh, higher level of spending investment and exports and government expenditure the policy response in this situation is to control inflation and in order to control inflation it's very necessary to control inflation and in order to control inflation what the government has to do is to use monetary policy or fiscal policy or both that is trying to reduce ad by raising taxation rate reducing public expenditure and increase interest rate a government also use other monetary policy tools in order to cut down the aggregate demand and as a result the inflation will be managed